What is up guys, welcome back to another OU Live. Today we're doing something a little bit special and we're gonna be doing a lot of these actually in the in the next coming days. Uh, but if you guys know, we have the uh, Goodbye Auras tournament going on right now, the GOT, and the draft is now complete. The divisions are set for everybody and we're going to be using each person's individual team on the OU ladder. So we're gonna be uh, hand selecting teams. I'm gonna start off with my closer friends like Dom and Mance and uh, Jose, Johnny and whatnot, Rob, and then we're gonna move on to some of the the bigger names in the league like Shoddy, Ethan, um, Iron Flash Gaming, Zazo, so uh, so on and so forth. And we're gonna be using their teams, constructing uh, an OU team, something that works, and we're gonna be trying it out on the ladder to see just how good their drafts actually are. Now, of course, these are seven man teams. We can only bring six Pokemon. So at the beginning of each episode, I'm gonna be telling you which Mon we left behind. This is Dom's draft, Charizard Y, Frostlass, Doug Trio, Con Kelder, Blastoise, Victor Bell, and he also has a Latias, which we left behind. So this is the team we're gonna be using. We're using a little bit of a spike stacking core with uh, Frostlass and Doug Trio being the Stealth Rocker, uh, the uh, Spiker and Stealth Rocker respectively. Then we have an Assault Vest Con Kelder plus a Fizz Def uh, Blastoise to be able to spin for uh, both Frostlass, which is Focus Sash, as well as Doug Trio, and of course Charizard Y, which takes 50% on switching on rocks. And then finally we have Victor Bell as a Sun Sweeper. So looking pretty cool. Uh, we're not going to get a lot of games. We're going to get one, maybe two. Uh, just to keep these episodes short because I do want to do a lot of these. There will prob probably be another one coming out later tonight. I'll try to build a team uh, based around uh, another person's team in the league. And yeah, so let's get into a game. Right now it's pretty early, so uh, a lot of people should be on at this point. Let's actually check that out real quick. We've got two, uh, 2,726 act active battles, so not too bad. Uh, more than 100 in OU, which is good. So we shouldn't have trouble finding a battle. Not too much anyway. Let's see where we are on the ladder. Rank... Uh, we currently have in OU 1719, so not too bad, not the greatest, but uh, going to try to get a couple of wins with this team. It's really just to showcase off the team. If we can't pull off wins, then so be it, but uh, this is what we're going to do. So, I see right away that my opponent has a, uh, a Stealth Rock or a Zelf, probably a Focus Sash Breloom, coupled with a spinning, um, a Rapid Spinner, Excadrill, Pursuit Trapper, Weavile, I assume for Charizard Y. It could be Charizard X as well. Uh, but he is more physically offensive than specially, so I, I am expecting Charizard Y, in fact. And then finally we have a Raikou, which might be an issue to deal with, but we all, always have the Doug Trio, so it's not too bad. I'm assuming that's Scarf Drill as well. What I want to do is just lead off with Blastoise, because Blastoise is the best matchup against the majority of the team, and it can spin on his elf as well, so... I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin turn 1 on the Stealth Rocks, to, just to show him that I am... Determined to keep rocks off my side and then we're gonna go for a dark pulse. So let's see if uh, we already broke its sash It's not gonna do enough. He's probably gonna explode right here. I would assume uh, Let's just go into Frostlast to dodge the explosion, which is what I'm assuming is coming and No, he goes for energy ball actually. Okay, so that does a lot um, Do I want to keep this at 29% what can I get rocks up on because this team is very fast and he has priority so I guess I could get them up, uh, my spike up on Breloom because it can't hit me with its priority because we are a ghost. So if he's a special attacker, then I think uh, I think Conkelder is not bad. He could have a psychic type move though, so that's a little bit worrisome. Um, all right, yeah, let's go Conk. Let's see what he does. He might go for a Psy Shock, but we'll deal with it. Just goes for another Energy Ball. That's not too bad. Gets a Spedef drop though, so if he is psychic, he will knock us out. Um, let me just go for the Ice Punch right here, see what we can do. Uh, he does have Fire Blast, and that's not going to be able to take us out, so we are able to get rid of the Azelf with a combination of Ice Punch and Mock Punch right here, able to eliminate that thing, and I think I can bring Blastoise back in on the Weavile and spin later, so it's not too big a deal. And of course, we can always bring in Frostlass on the Breloom, like I said before, get up a Spike, go for a Destiny Bond, anything that we choose. So, it's not, not, not looking too, too bad. We're okay. I feel like uh, Victor Bell can definitely sweep up this game. Only problem is that it's slower than um, than Excadrill because it is a modest nature. So, gonna have to watch out for that. Good news is that if uh, Charizard is uh, Y on his side, he gets up Sun for me as well with uh, for Victor Bell. So that's not too bad at all. Let's see what happens. I think uh, his play here is probably to go into either Raikou. 
Uh, def definitely not Weavile. I wouldn't see Weavile coming in here because uh, it doesn't knock me out with an Ice Shard, I don't think. Um, Charizard takes needless damage. There's the Breloom, okay. We, we will go straight for the uh, Mach Punch right here, I think, and just let Conkelder go down. Get off some decent damage on this Breloom as he goes for a Bullet Seed. There it is. Not risking the Mach Punch. He is Life Orb and not Sash, so good to know. And uh, I think we can just go into Frostlass and go for the Icy Wind here. Lowering something's speed, guaranteeing that we will be able to uh, get off an attack on the following turn. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Just click Icy Wind. Hopefully we're able to knock out this Breloom. That would be great, because he loses priority, and he loses a check to Blastoise. So, not too bad. We'll just do that. I would love if he brought in Raikou right here, because then I get up a spike for free. So that's not, not, that's not bad at all either. Because Icy Wind, of course, lowers your speed. It does have a chance to miss, so i got to watch out for that. He can't hit me with Mach Punch, which is good. I don't know if Breloom gets Quick Attack, but Weavile is actually going to come in to take the Icy Wind. I'm assuming it's going to go for an Ice Shard now. What I'm going to do is switch into Blastoise to get rid of these rocks. Bringing back Frostlass into the game. His Azelf is gone as well. There's the Ice Shard. We can fully expect a knockoff to come out here. Uh, I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to go for Rapid Spin. Get rid of these rocks. We're definitely not faster than this thing, even with the speed drop, so... Let's see what happens. He's probably going to go for knockoff. Let's, I'm saying let's see what happens, but that's definitely what's about to happen. Uh, good news is that Charizard will outspeed this after, and I can just get off a free Fire Blast. So that's that's looking really, really solid. He's actually going to go out into Breloom here on my Rapid Spin, and I'm assuming the Bullet Seed is coming my way. So... Should I just go Victory Bell? I quad resist it, right? So that's not bad. Charizard also quad resists it, but I don't want to take a Rock Tomb on the Switch. Um, what's least valuable to me? I guess now that Rocks are gone, Blastoise is not too, not looking too great. Um, but I kind of need it for the Ice Shard from Weavile. So maybe Victory Bell. Victory Bell is kind of my only way to win, too. Uh, well, there's Doug Trio, so that's not too bad. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What do I want to switch in here? Do I just go into... Or do I predict him to go for Rock Tomb and just go for Scald? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go for... Uh, okay, he goes for Focus Punch. Awesome. So we're able to uh, get off a of Scald right here. We do get the Burn, so that's going to hinder this uh, this Breloom greatly. Uh, and now it's definitely going for Bullet Seed, so I'm just going to switch out into Victor Bell here, I think. Do I really want to let it get weakened? I don't think so. Um, yeah, let's just go for uh, for another Scald right here. He goes for another Focus Punch, expecting me to switch out, and we are able to eliminate the Breloom, which means now that we have a lot less of a need for Frostlass, which is good. Frostlass is still good against the uh, the Charizard. It can still Icy Wind it, lower its speed, allow my Charizard to outspeed it. That's not too bad. In comes the Charizard right now. I'm assuming going for a Solar Beam. Uh, Blastoise, again, is still useful to me. I think the least useful, uh, useful member now is Frostlass, for sure. So... Uh, yeah, let's go into, uh, into Frostlass right here. I do assume that he's Charizard Y, as he is. Awesome, okay. So, this is gonna kill us. There's the Solar Beam. Alright. And now I can go into, oh, his Solar Beam is disabled. Okay, that's good. That's actually very good, because now I can go back into Blastoise if I choose. Uh, but Fire Blast is still gonna hurt, so I think the better play is to go into Dugtrio right here. And, uh, what we'll do is, I think just get up Rocks is the play. Because uh, we are Focus Sash, so we'll live any hit. Uh, yeah, let's go for the Stealth Rocks. He does stay in. Goes for the Flamethrower, knocks me down to my Sash. Does he get the burn? No, he does not. And right here, we are able to go for Stone Edge, because the only thing faster than me is the Weavile. Potentially the uh, Excadrill as well. I kind of want to go for Earthquake, actually. Expecting uh, the Excadrill to want to come in here. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for Quake. No, he stays in and risks his Charizard. Okay, alright, that's fine. As uh, we'll go into uh, our own Charizard now, and we have Rock Slide on ours, so this is uh, this is kind of cool. We can hit this thing for quite effective damage if we want to, and he can't really switch out. So let's do that. Let's go for Rock Slide. We do Speed Tie. He goes for the Flamethrower first, gets it off. We go for the Rock Slide, preventing this thing from coming back in on rocks. And uh, now what I'm going to do is just Roost. And if he wants to go for Flamethrower, that's fine. It's not going to knock us out, and uh, he doesn't have anything to hit us with, so. Going to be able to uh, roost indefinitely here. Good news is that my Fire Blast uh, does take him out from this range. He can't really go for roost, uh, risking the Rock Slide because it might knock him out. That roll was uh, was very very close. So, um, 
I think just, uh, I think just go for another roost here, honestly. We do win the speed tie, so that's a little unfortunate. He gets off the flamethrower, but it's doing a lot less now. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to roost until I lose speed tie. And then we're going to go for an attack on the following turn. And if he gets off damage, he gets off damage. It's not a big deal. Does go for another flamethrower. That's fine. We'll just keep roosting up. And uh, he does as well. But it's okay, because if he gets to full, then I can rock slide him. So, actually, let's do that now. Let's rock slide. Yeah, we win the speed tie. There we go. Okay, cool. Charizard is gone. So no more sun from him. Uh, which kind of hinders us a little bit, because I did want uh, sun up for uh, for Victory Bell. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. Raikou comes in. This I do not have a response to. Uh, but I don't think I die to a Thunderbolt unless it's specs. Let's check that out. Raikou. Because Raikou is pretty weak. Choice specs to Charizard Y. Charizard. Whoop. Charizard. Mega Charizard Y. Uh, with no HP, Thunderbolt, if it's specs, does knock me out. If it's not, uh, he's not knocking me out. So I could just go for the Fire Blast right here and risk it. Um, he does look like a Specs variant, though, because this was Life Orb. This looks like a, a Hyper Offense team. That's why I'm thinking that. Good news is that Blastoise can beat the other two. It just can't beat this Raikou. So, I think I just Fire Blast here. He goes for Sub. Okay, so it's a, it's a good play. We did break the Sub. There we go. Is he Leftovers? He is. Awesome. So, we will just go for another Fire Blast. He cannot knock us out with his Thunderbolt. That's what that means. Uh, he can go for a Volt Switch here, but anything that switches in is dying to a Fire Blast. Both the Excadrill and the uh, the Weavile. If we get this off, we can knock him out. And we do. We get a crit. I don't think that mattered. I'm pretty sure that didn't matter. Fire Blast outside of the sun. 65. Okay, so maybe it did matter. Um, well, it was a roll. It was a roll to knock him out. Weavile comes in. Um, Victor Bell does win now. But what I want to do is prevent him from spamming Earthquake. So I think I just switch out into Blastoise here, right? Um... Yeah, because I do want to get Weather back up for Victor Bell's Weather Ball. Because uh, I think that's how I win. Then again... Hold on. Because uh, if I Sleep Powder him, he goes to sleep after he hits me. I get off uh, the Solar Beam almost guaranteed, unless he wakes up. Uh, and I have a chance of not being faster. Let's actually calculate that really quickly. Because I know I'm not faster than Scarf Garchomp, but I should be faster than Scarf Excadrill, actually. I'm just going to bring up a calculator real quick. You guys are going to see this. Um, let's see. Uh, two. How much are we? 239, I think. Let's move that out of the way. 239, yep. Uh, times 2. And 275. Well, let's do 302. Yeah, he doesn't outspeed me. I do outspeed him. Okay. Good. Good to know. All right, let's go to Blastoise. Because after the Life Orb... Okay, he goes for Pursuit. So good play. Very good play. Uh, but that means that Blastoise didn't take any damage, which is also very good for us. Uh, I can just go into Blastoise here. It's probably going to go for a knockoff. That's absolutely fine. I'm just going to go for a Scald. It will be able to take him out with the combination of Life Orb, I believe. Let's see. Blastoise isn't too strong, but it should still do the job. As it does, yep. And I don't think Excadrill can knock me out with anything. And the good news is that it gets me into Torrent if it Earthquakes me. So, this might actually even take him out. Let's go for it. Uh, he does get me into Torrent. There we go. And Scald is able to pick up the kill on the Excadrill, so that is going to be GG to our opponent. And we'll move on to the next one, I think. Yeah, let's let's keep it at like 18, 19 minutes. Hopefully the last one's not too long. Not as long as that one. Made some nice plays there, I think. Uh, definitely keeping Frostlass alive was was clutch uh, because it was able to force out the... Um, it was able to force out the Breloom. As a result, his Weavile took damage. Uh, from the Life Orb and the Icy Wind, and that put it in range of Scald, uh, non-Torrent boosted Scald, of course. So, that was a good play, I think. Let's move on to the next game. Hopefully we can get one rather quick. I'll actually pause it until we get one, guys. Alright, and we got one. So, we're up against a Victini squad, which is uh, threatening, but at the same time, if that thing gets a kill with, uh, with V-Create, I get to trap it with Doug Trio and knock it out, so it's not too bad. I do see a Lopany on the other side, so that's a little bit of a threat. Definitely. I think I'm going to lead with uh, Conk. Uh, Conk's looking like my best lead. However, Torn is looking like his best lead, so maybe Blastoise is the way to go. Conk is a V, 200 speed F, so it should be able to take even a Life Orb Torn's Hurricane, right? Let's see. Conkelder. Conkelder Assault Vest. Uh, bring this down to like 80. 
a little bit more than that. Let's do 160. Uh, 120? 144. A little bit less, 136. Okay, cool. Uh, Hurricane is a potential knockout. So I'm, I'm comfortable with leading off with Conkeldor against this guy. Leads off with Machamp. Uh, we are not faster than this. He will get off a dynamic punch right here, should he choose. Uh, which is what I think he's going to do. So I'm actually going to switch into Frost last here. We'll get up a first layer of Spike. It's only going to hit three members on the team, but it's still pretty good. Uh, obviously, Machamp can, Machamp can carry a bullet punch, but we are not affected by the dynamic punch. We are a ghost. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just go for a spike. He can hit us with a bullet punch, but that's about it. Oh, knock off as well. Yeah, that works. Uh, I'm assuming the bullet punch is coming here, so what I'll actually do is switch out into something that's faster than this. Uh, being Charizard, we'll keep Frostlass in the back. It does speed tie with the uh, with the Latios, so he's actually going to switch out into Lopany, so that doesn't end up working out the way I wanted it to. Uh, this thing is going to destroy us because we are hasty. Uh, let's just go into uh, Blastoise right here. It is my dedicated physical wall. As I'm assuming the fake out is coming, there it is, and uh, that didn't do much at all, honestly, <laughs> after leftovers. That did uh, pitiful damage. Uh, but I can expect the uh, Rotom to want to come in here. I think either way, just going for a Scald is a good idea. Uh, potential to burn, so that's always nice. As we do not get it, we do not have a ground type either. <clears throat> so I am just going to uh, Scald right here again. It's going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, that's absolutely fine. And I'm assuming the... Uh, I do have a ground type, what am I talking about? <laughs> I have a Dug Trio. Uh, and we'll go straight into it right here, because I'm assuming he's going to go for the Volt Switch this time. There's the Volt Switch, awesome. So that means that we are able to get up rocks right here, uh, which is exactly what I'm going to do. As he goes for the Will-O-Wisp to burn us, which is fine. Uh, I can still keep this thing around for Victini if I want to. And I'm assuming that the Hydro Pump is coming my way, so... I'll go into Conkeldur here. We are Guts. So he's going to go for the Volt Switch actually, so good play. Uh, as Latios is going to come in here, I'm assuming just to defog. Um, I mean, he has no reason not to, right? Let's just go for Ice Punch. Yep. There we go. And so this Latios should go down here. Nope. Almost. Almost. Uh, we can just go for Mock Punch, but I'm feeling like he's going to predict that and switch out into Tornadus. I don't think I have another play, though. Yep. Okay, cool. So we're able to eliminate the Latios. We still have our Stealth Rocker and we still have our Spiker. So it's not looking bad. Now, Machamp didn't go for Bullet Punch on Frostlass, so I'm thinking it doesn't have it, potentially. Anyway, Torn comes in. Uh, if it's not Life Orb, uh, then it probably doesn't knock us out. So I'm just going to go for another Ice Punch here. Uh, he gets a crit, and he's not Life Orb, so that definitely mattered, <laughs> uh, but it's okay. We'll just go into Charizard here, uh, because he is a... Unless he has Hidden Power Rock, uh, something's basically dying here. So let's go for the Fire Blast, as he has U-Turn. Okay, so something is getting destroyed right here, and it's going to be Victini. <laughs> awesome. All right, so that takes 52%. I'm assuming this thing is Scarfed by the way he brought it in. Uh, what I'm going to do is go hard into Blastoise here. The Fusion Bolt could be coming, but I'll take it. Goes for the V-Create. Okay, that's Banded. Maybe not. It was in the sun. But I think it's Banded. Hold on. Victini... Choice Band, In the Sun, versus Blastoise, Bulky Spinner, um, wow, what, 54 to 64 in the sun, how did it do that much, 328, 362, unless he's adamant, is he adamant, Choice Band, how much did it do to me, 69, yeah, he has to be adamant, Choice Band, and that was a max roll, so if he's adamant, actually, I don't think he outspeeds us right now, because he just got minus speed, right? Right? No. Yeah, yeah, you do get minus speed. Okay. So if he's adamant, he hits 299, one third of that. Uh, he might still outspeed us. We'll just go for a Scald here, though. All right, as Rotom comes in, that's fine. We have the chance to burn, of course, as we do. Awesome. So that thing takes a burn. We are still alive. I do assume that the Volt Switch is coming right here. Uh, I think I am going to go into Doug Trio because the sun is up, right? So water moves are weakened anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go into Dougie, as he chooses to switch out into Tornadus, so good play. However, Tornadus can't really knock me out unless it hits a Hurricane in the Sun. So, uh, let's see, Sun's about to fade. Let's sack off Blastoise, it doesn't have any, any more viability. He does just go for the knockoff, which is fine. We will go into Charizard here, and get a knockout. We'll go for the Fire Blast, as he goes for the U-turn, once again. 
So something is going down here. Uh, I can still very well easily uh, win this with uh, Victory Bell. I just have to weaken the... Um, just have to weaken the Tornadus. Now, I don't assume that he's going to stay in on a Solar Beam. I really don't. Unless he really wants to sack this. Uh... I really want to Fire Blast here. You know what? Let's just Fire Blast. It's for fun anyway. He does stay in. And he's going to go for the Hydro Pump, which is fine because that doesn't hit us as hard. And he clearly wants to sack this off. So uh, what I'm actually going to do is just Roost. Because at least that way we take the Volt Switch a lot better. He does miss the Hydro Pump. And now we are back up to full. And we'll just go for Solar Beam right here. We're able to knock out the Rotom, which is great. And now I think the uh, Victini does come back in. But this thing doesn't outspeed me. And I'm still in the sun. Because that was definitely banded damage on Blastoise. Um, we did how much to him before? Uh, if I back up a little bit. Uh, Fire Blast did 52, so it could be a roll. Uh, but I'm willing to risk the roll, I think. Rock Slide is not as strong. Yeah, we'll risk the roll. And we do hit Fire Blast, and we are able to knock out the Victini. Awesome. Okay, so that thing's gone. I think Lopany comes back in here, for sure. Uh, there's the Lopany, yep. And without the hazards up, it's not looking good. <laughs> uh, and we are a hasty nature, so I think we just die to return. Lopany versus our Charizard. Charizard Y. Return normally does 84. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we're, we're gone. We're gone. No, we're not. Hold on. It does 93 max. Okay, that's not too bad. We can definitely live one. Okay, so I think I win this with Victor Bell regardless. Um, so let's sack off Frostlass here. As he goes for the fake out. And now we're going to go back into Zard. We do live the return. He has to switch out here on a Fire Blast. Um, I think Torn's coming in. Either way. So that's actually not too bad for us because... Okay, he go goes for the return, gets a crit. Another crit to kill Charizard. Amazing. All right, so now we go into Victor Bell and we play out the Sun Turns. Uh, let's go for the... Does the Solar Beam take him out from Life Orb? Let's find out. Lopany. Victor Bell. How do you spell Victor Bell? Okay. Uh, modest Life Orb. Solar Beam does 82 to 101. You know what? He's gotten a bunch of... 89 to 101. 89 to 105. Well, I cannot read. Okay, so this definitely knocks him out. Which makes me want to go for the sleep powder on the uh, on the tornadus. It really does. Um, yeah, let's just go for it. As he does switch out into Machamp, actually, which is his uh, least valuable member. Makes sense. Uh, how do we win this? Doug Trio definitely doesn't win this, and I'm gonna run out of sun turns anyway, so I might as well go into Dougie here, get up my rocks again. As he actually pulls out a double into his tornadus. Uh, now, again, I don't think Knock Off knocks us out. So what we'll do is we will go for Memento here as he goes for a Knock Off. Awesome. So we're able to lower this thing's attack and special attack. We are still in the sun. We are faster than you. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Sludge Bomb right here. As we do land it, it does only 40%. <laughs> no poison. He goes for the U-turn, which is the smartest play. And Lopany is going to come in here to knock us out. So uh, let's just go for the Sludge Bomb. We cannot take Fake Out into return, there's no way. Had he not crit um, Charizard, that would have been a much closer game, but it doesn't really matter. That's going to be it, guys. That's going to be the first uh, team, Dom's Game Room's team. So there you go, and uh, see you guys later for another team. Thanks for watching. Leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later. Ciao.